हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स हब रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर टू गेट ऑल द अपकमिंग अपडेट्स एंड इनोवेशन ऑन सेलेक्टर्स हब टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो थैंक यू अर्लियर वी आर एबल टू इंस्पेक्ट एंड जनरेट दी सेलेक्टर्स फॉर डायनेमिक ड्रॉप डाउन विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिवगर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स हब बट देर वर लाइक सम प्लेसेस वेयर इवन दिस डिबगर वॉज नॉट हेल्पिंग because it was by default set to 5 second like uh, earlier debugger was starting with a 5 second and by default in fact like in selectors up it will start after 5 second clicking on after clicking on debugger button after clicking on debugger button it will start after 5 second so what can we do in that kind of situation like you see that uh, there are certain kind of uh, spin loaders like uh, this one meanwhile you will open selector sub or you will click on uh, debugger in fact click on debugger of selector sub that will go disappear okay and something like on twitter if you see this these loaders the time the moment debugger of selector sub will start they will disappear okay so can we do like uh, what could be done in that these kind of situations so here now we would be able to customize the debugger time as well in selector sub so this is a great enhancement which will again going to make a lot of things possible to uh, like in reference to inspecting element and uh, generating the selectors for the element so uh, let's see some of the dynamic drop down and then we will see the uh, uh, these spin loader how can we generate and inspect these kind of uh, like uh, drop downs and spin loaders etc <laughs> so you see here like uh, these drop downs suppose under man we want to inspect these many elements or we want to write the x path for all these elements so if you today if you in right click and click on inspect they disappear immediately like we are not able to inspect so in that in this kind of situation what can we uh, do here to inspect this kind of elements so you see here open selectors hub and uh, like is if you inspect this element and now suppose we want to uh, like inspect these elements which are there as a drop down here so how can we inspect these all these elements under man so what you do like here you click on this debugger and within 5 second you make them appear th that drop down so hover on man and now it is appear here you can now inspect this element any of this element and you can uh, generate the x path like here selectors are is showing auto generated x path for all these uh, like this element inspected element and this way you can inspect any element and you would be able to generate x path and you can write it so this way this kind of drop down can be done and here by default debugger was starting after 5 second okay and you want to uh, like execute this uh, like you want to disable this attribute now sorry debugger then you can click on this uh, resume script execution button here click on this and this will complete similarly like on this kind of drop down which is which immediately disappear on uh, like clicking anywhere like this drop down if you right click it will disappear it, even if will it will not allow you to right click though this was this these drop downs were allow, allowing us to right click and in fact like from the right click you can copy the selector value of selectors of feature so this these kind of drop down here on which you can right click you can also copy the value from here but what in this case in this kind of drop down what you can do like you can't even right click and they immediately disappear so what we will do we will use debugger feature here again to inspect this kind of drop down what you have to do click on this uh, debugger button and make that uh, like element drop down element visible within 5 second and then it will hold it here now you can inspect this and you see that uh here elements tab this element and selectors are will generate x path for that particular inspected element so this way you can inspect these kind of drop down and uh generate the x path for them here now question comes how can we uh, like inspect these kind of drop, uh loader spin loader because they will disappear within 5 second and the debugger of selectors are is going to start in 5 second like let me refresh the page and if i click on this debugger now meanwhile this uh, debugger will start that element got disappear you see that now there is no use of this debugger because that element got disappear which you were which you wanted to uh, like inspect 
and now if you will refresh the page this debugger will also execute and it will not be like running so because uh, you will have after starting the debugger you cannot refresh the page you can refresh the page before starting once the dom is loaded and then you have to start the debugger and make your element visible without refreshing the page if you will refresh the page debugger will disable and it will execute completely so how, what can we do in this kind of situation we are what we will have to do like we will refresh the page and immediately we will have to start the debugger as soon as this dom load so in that kind of situation now you have the option here Th there is a customize ui button here click on this and here you see that debugger start time so this one you can set it here so here this is by default 5 second like let's say you want to start immediately so you can set it 0 if you want 1 second wait you can add 1 second you want 2 second add 2 so let's say we want to start debugger immediately after clicking on this debugger button so we set it to 0 now we'll go back and let's refresh the page and you can put your mouse here on the debugger button up on the debugger button so that immediately you can click as soon as that spin loader appear okay so ready now let's restart refresh and click here you see that it has stopped this loader and now we can inspect this loader here so you see we have uh, like this is the x path for this all the selectors generated here and we are able to inspect this you can inspect this loading this is the loading button so this way you can inspect these kind of spin loader which immediately disappear similarly like on twitter website let me show you when you refresh the page here you see that the, there are some loader these loader and now we want to inspect them so how can we inspect them like normally it, it is really difficult to inspect those kind of debugger which immediately disappear so what we will do like we have already set time to zero so let me just refresh this page once you will have to set after that uh, like whenever you will open selectors up whatever time you have saved that will always be showing here so there we have already set it to zero so you see here you need not to set it again it was zero only now we will refresh the page put the cursor here refresh the page and click on this and you see all the uh, uh, spin loader are uh, stopped here and now we can inspect them whichever you want so let's say we want to inspect this one and we want to do perform some action here so this is inspected and this is showing this information as well that this is svg so all those things you can do it here like selector is generated you can write you can verify anything you can do it here so this is uh, generated you are, we are able to inspect all these spin loader here so this way you now we are able to inspect even these kind of spin loader dynamic loader or wh whatever you can say like or whatever terminology you use in your website for your application so whatever kind of loader those loader elements appear you would be able to inspect with this feature and this will definitely going to help you guys a lot and it will save a huge amount of time because many times like we used to start these uh, debugger by pressing f8 or uh, like from the console so while performing that action it uh, like many a times these debugger uh, these loaders used to disappear immediately so this feature this uh, debugger uh, customization will help you guys a lot will save a lot of time for you and it will make again lots of things possible so hope this video uh, help going to help you guys a lot this feature is going to help you guys a lot so request you to please like share and let everyone know about this great innovation and this great feature and let's help community together and if you want to learn more about uh, such kind of concepts like svg element shadow dom how you, these things works and all you can join my training here on, on selectors hub where you will learn a lot from directly from me in the live training and lots of things are uh, i'm teaching here great concepts about selectors which will help you guys a lot to improve your productivity and everything so with that Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Please like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. With that, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.